Malacca is a vibrant city with no shortage of things to see and do. Flying coconut! First stop, the Baba and Nyonya Heritage Museum. Ah. <laughs> This museum was established in 1896 and built during the Dutch colony. The last time when the Dutch occupied Malacca, there was no windows in the side of Alpha on the left or the right. So there's such an uh, air well to help with ventilation and light to come into the house for the... What air well? It goes all the way through. There's no roof. That's not an air well, it's just a hole in the house. This house was once the home of a Baba Chan family who bought it in 1861 and has since housed up to five generations in the family. The simplified version of this clothing is years of fashion down the road. Next up, we visit a cafe, but not just any cafe. I'll cover this. Huskies love cold climate. So this is a great place to come to if you want to escape the Malaysian heat. This is not a husky. Wait, what are you doing here? They're licking it back. Yeah. Any concern for his friend, or are they like want to eat the vomit? House. This company was founded in Malacca in 1971. Now it has a global presence exporting all over the world from America to Africa. The iconic Mami Monster is basically uncooked noodles and a fabulous stroke of genius. What do you think?
but definitely not least is Malacca's famous Jonka Street Night Market. Flying coconut! also known as Pasamalam, is a great place to try some of Malacca's local delicacies and also get your hands on some souvenirs. They're a little bit stinky. <laughs> the best way to describe how it tastes is that it smells like a sheep farm. Mm. That made it work. <laughs> how many of these things have you tried?